Okay, everybody. Today we're going to talk about drawing. We usually draw two kinds of drawings when we make plans in this class. We make orthographic drawings and we make isometric drawings. Orthographic drawing, isometric drawing. Orthographic drawings are sometimes called three view, which means that they will have a top view, a side view, and a a front view. Top, side, and front. So let's say I was gonna draw a box, just a square box. <clears throat> the top view would look like I was looking straight down at the top of the box. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a sample. Okay, so here's a sample. This is a box. We're gonna say we're gonna draw this box. So if we were looking at the top view, it's as if we rotate the box and we're looking straight down at the top. That's what we're gonna draw right there, top view. Side view is if we rotate the box like that and we look at it from the side. We'll show the side, we'll show the stripes. In this case, we'll show the little lid, we'll show the little handle. And that is a side view of the box. A front view is as if you rotated this this way and drew it this way. Now, that would go here with the little handle. We draw the stripes. And that's, and that's the front view. Now in this case, it's a square, which we can see from the top view. In a square, the side and the front are gonna be the same, unless there's a different detail on this side. So like, let's say maybe there was two stripes here, but on this side there was three stripes. You would show that on this drawing. If this was a rectangle, so it's a square on this side, but when I rotated it, it was longer, that would be why it's there. Because people always ask if they're the same, do I have to draw it twice? Yes, because you won't know that it's the same unless you have both drawings. So in a three view drawing or an orthographic drawing, we need a top, a side, and a front. The way they're drawn on the paper is just like this, in this L shape. So we'll notice that these, well, I didn't, I didn't draw that very good. It's not a square. Let's get rid of that end. There we go. That's a little better. You notice these line up with each other and these line up with each other. So on the paper that you draw this, you would have your top in line with your side view and your side view in line with your top view. And that's because when you write down how big each part is, let's say this is five inches tall, you're gonna label that as five inches tall I know that it's five inches tall over here as well because that's all lined up with each other. If I were to dimension this, let's say that's six inches here. I know because this is the front view that this dimension here would also be six inches because the top view and the front view line up with each other in this way. They kind of go off at a 45 degree angle. And if you were to carry this line over and carry this line down, this dimension is equal to this dimension. So that's an orthographic drawing top, side, and front. We normally use a ruler, it's to scale, it looks correct and proper, but just so you know what they are, that's what it looks like. On the isometric, on the isometric side, 
That's drawing all three together. This is almost like a 3D view. Okay. I'm gonna step on this side. So to draw an isometric, you have to know the angle. There are lines that will go vertically. There are lines that will go down and to the left and down and to the right. These are the only three lines in an isometric. There are no horizontal lines. So if I were to draw this box, it's as if I was looking at it like this on the paper. Front corner going up to the left, up to the right, just like this triangle here. So let's draw this box. If I wanted to draw this box, I'm going to start with that front angle. And then I'm going to come up to the left and then come down and draw my stripes. And then I'm going to come up to the right, draw my two stripes, and then I'm going to connect it in the back. Maybe this is the lid. And then there's my little handle. And that's your isometric drawing. So when you label this, when you look at it, you can see that this is the top, this is the side, and this is the front. So if I looked at an isometric drawing of a piece of, of a project like this, and I needed to draw the top orthographically, the side, and the front, I could then draw all three just like this. So we're gonna practice.